pony still got the gat? Bro, what? Where's your parents? You need Jesus, man. What is up, you guys? Realistic Gaming here. So someone over on TikTok sent me this page to this uh, My Little Worms English. Apparently, it was like this. It's this like My Little Pony alternate universe creation it was in spanish but someone went ahead and translated the whole series into english and here we are today we're about to check it out so let's go ahead and uh jump into chapter one this is part one symptoms all right i just hope that this situa situation is nothing serious until then i will try to keep the rest calm and now I have to wait for my horn to recover and regenerate from that. Until then, I will not be able to use magic for this. Ooh, tragic. All right, I spent all day and all night trying to find to perform a spell that could stop this. But on top of that, I overexploded a lot. Dang. I'm a little exhausted now that uh, I'm a princess. The whole load is coming to me. Hey, yo. Apparently the, the demonstrate certain apparently they demonstrate certain aggressive behaviors excessive hunger insomnia irritation symptoms that I have seen so far that have been reported to me kind of sounds like a zombie to me or something bro okay uh day one I don't know what's happening to the rest of the ponies all right so that is it for chapter one on all the auto scrolls on uh this is chapter two. I have been continuing my investigation regarding what happened. It seems quite strange to me. Perhaps this could be caused by a new virus. I don't know, man. Or pony. I started to observe the behaviors of the, my friends these days. They've been really weird lately. What caught my attention the most was a big spot on Rarity's eyes. Don't, don't, don't. She never wanted to tell me what had happened to her. She grabbed her hair to the point of pulling out a few strands. She seemed quite stressed. She sounds crazy to me, bruh. Yanking her hair out. By the way, this is uh, what I was able to watch to attach about the pony's behaviors and symptoms. Notebook. Stress, hunger, insomnia, hallucinations, dementia, irritability, spots on the body. Spots on the body, body aches, decomposition of the body, decomp decomposition of the body. Blah, blah. You you get it, man. So um, yeah, this seems like a tragic new virus going on between the ponies. I don't know, man. But let's keep moving on to chapter three. Okay, uh, day five. Okay, so they visit Rarity. Uh, T, sorry for coming to bother you again, Rarity. I just wanted to know how you were feeling. Um. I'm great, honey. Don't worry so much about me. Have you seen the others? I think they are even worse than me. Dang. All right, they seem crazy. They have undoubtedly lost their sanity. I don't know what is happening, but I uh, hope they find the solution quickly. Oh, wait, isn't she the one? Okay, never mind. Have you seen my cat? T, sorry, I haven't seen him, but by the way, are you regarding your stains? What? What do you mean by that? Rarity lunges at twilight and leaves a small wound on top of her snout. What the f are you doing? You insinuating? Yeah, sorry, what? What we're talking about? <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> so you just attacked her? <laughs> okay, uh, doesn't she know what she says or does? Right, so that that's obviously uh, one of the side effects from the infection. Oh, bro, look. Rarity status infected. As you can see her eye right here. You can see an infection forming along her eye. I thought I was going crazy. I had just seen, I had just seen with my own eyes how little worms were coming out of Rarity's eye from the holes they made themselves. They were eating her alive. Ugh, that sounds disgusting, bro. Go take a shower or something, man. Ugh. Okay, this is chapter four. I realized that the reason she was pulling her hair out was because of the itching of the worms residing in her head. Oh, that is disgusting, man. What if the worms are really the cause of all this? A parasite? What would be the ways for this parasite to spread? I have so many questions now. At least Rarity was able to help. Was a little help. I got more information about it. And this uh, parasite slash virus spreads through contact between an infected person and someone healthy. I guess I'm already infected because of the wound we already gave her. Oh yeah, I mean that might be a good reason. 
Okay, um, I still remember the way Rarity would ask about Opa, her cat. Oh no, what did she do to the car? So the what? So that when I realize, when I leave, I realize this. Bruh, they killed the car, bruh. Okay, Rarity had eaten her cat. Damn, bro. That is another level of, of, of Damon. To eat your own pet? How can you live with that? All right, chapter five. Maybe they started due to contact with the animals. They are a great source of parasites if you look at it that way. That is true. Animals, they can be hosts to these parasites that you see. They live in their body, so we clearly can't see them, man. Okay, someone was also in the place where Twilight was. They approached her to talk. Oh, Twilight? Please help me. They say I'm infected. But I don't know, I don't show any symptoms. I'm not infected. Yeah, right. I was with Pinkie Pie. I was helping her uh, with things at the bakery. And out of nowhere, she started yelling at me about my injury. How did you, how did you do that to yourself? Flashback. Uh, if it really was done by someone infected or had some contact who had the plague, Flirtshy is undoubtedly infected too. Bro, at this point, just burn all the ponies alive, bro. I'm sorry. They're all infected, man. Flirtshy is nervous. Uh, Pinkie Pie even tried to bite me. Dang. Did she just avoid my question? How did she try to bite you? Seeing a Flirtshy and Pinkie Pie at the bakery. Flirtshy, I am very hungry. Get out of me. Stop looking at me like a piece of meat. There's a lot of food in here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you think this this shit is going to fill me? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I need more than just a piece of bread. I've always wondered what pony meat tastes like. Maybe like chicken or turtle, bro. I don't know, man. <laughs> or alligator. <laughs> I'm freaking out. You're crazy, you freaking disgusting. Don't come near me. Dang, so she, she literally <laughs> attacked her and tried eating her alive. Dang, all right. Uh, that is... The end of chapter 5, chapter 6. It sucks that I have to go skip back to the first one because it's always out of place. Uh, that's what happened after that. Fluttershy remained silent for a few seconds. I ran out of... I ran out and got here until I saw you and Spike. So Pinkie Pie is also infected? Telling y'all, man. Burn all the ponies, bear. Okay, um, I am not infected, says Fluttershy. In case you're not, I am. <laughs> Bruh. I've been getting really hungry this time. Even my head hurts. So much for a heads up, you know, before meeting up. And Spike has the same spots that Rarity had. Dang, even Spike is a... Uh... Oh yeah, it kind of looks like he has spots. Spike's, Spike is exhausted. Oh, look, it says a uh, health 30, hunger 87, fatigue 96. He's been quiet this whole... He was, he's been quiet this whole time. When he tries to speak, it's like his vocal cords have broken. Oh, he probably has like a raspy voice. And your and you, Fluttershy? You still haven't answered my question. How did you do that? I don't know how I did it, Twilight. She ain't spilling all the beans. She says it so calmly, but from her expression, it's like she knows she's lying to me. Why would she do it? Is she afraid that I'll do something to her? Well, duh. Please don't look at me like that. Oh, gosh. Spike tried to speak, but could barely modulate. To what uh, I... AI... Alright, so it seems like Spike might have know something, but since his voice is, like, messed up, you can't... We can't make of what he's trying to say. Spike paused when speaking. Mmm, they hurt. Eyes. Okay, maybe it's just a pain. Yes, I feel something. Something inside. Inside. Inside of my eyes. Oh, it's probably the parasites in his body, bro. Throw that man to the trash, bro. He's infected. Spike? Alright, that is chapter 6. Chapter 7. Spike just vomited up a bunch of worms. Ew. Disgusting, Mike. That was the reason why he couldn't speak. They were eating him up inside. Dude, that's what I'm talking about, man. Spike just nods. Are you okay, Twilight? Oh, Spike. Yeah, he. why would you ask a question when you obviously say he's not okay? Uh, I'm hungry. Oh, don't tell me. What is that? On the floor. Can I eat it? Oh, she's gonna eat the worms? I want to eat it. I triple dog dare you. She won't, bruh. At Rarity's house. 
Oh, look at the poor car. What are you doing here, Pinky? I'm too hungry, Rarity. I'm hungry. I have nothing to give you. Are you insisting that I eat my cat? Do you think I'm crazy? I mean, you do look crazy with that infected eye over there. So, just a little bite, Rarity. <laughs> she keeps insisting, bro. She wants to eat it. Okay, Pinkie Pie can't resist anymore. It takes a big piece of Rarity's skin off. Bro, she, t she bit her friend. She attacked her own friend. Son of a... What's wrong with you? Why did you bite me? Dang, you straight up went for the eye right there. Or the flesh near the eye so or the eye socket. That is wicked, man. Degree of infection, medium high. Dude, look at that. It's probably like rotting flesh by now. That is cool. <laughs> Alright, chapter 8. Alright, let it play. Go back. I need to get tired so I can sleep. I haven't slept for days. My alleys feel like they're throbbing. I just need to go faster. Bro, you're gonna crash faster. Rainbow Dash got a few injuries in a very bad fall. Broke her leg and even broke her wings. Dang, bro. Shoot. Damn, now it hurts. And now what do I do? I can't fly with my wings like that. <laughs> Why would you even do that to begin with? If I stay here, I'll die of hunger. There aren't even any ponies nearby. And in case of desperation to want to sleep, ended up making things worse. That's what you get for going fast and crashing. <laughs> you broke your wings, man. Uh, with Twilight spanking Fluttershy. I am infected. Okay, so we're back to the hospital, I guess. Or wherever they are. I don't know what to do, what I'll do. It all depends on me. Did Spike tell me something? I think she's tripping, bruh. You didn't say anything. You didn't say anything, right? I'm starting to get delirious. I don't think it's a good idea for me and Spike to be around you, Fluttershy. Especially if you're not infected. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's already too late by now since they all have been gathered up. Uh, Spike looks at them with anguish. Spike spoke as if he were just learning to speak. Pow! Could I lock us both up? Investigate away. Spike is right. As long as infection is not so serious, we can continue investigating. You could tell us what is happening and we will give you our progress. Okay. Alright, it seems like something that might work maybe not i don't freaking know man okay moving on chapter nine we got uh, what's in the apple blossom i think i've been hiding in this place since it all started the ponies are crazy everybody crazy i don't even know where my family is the last time i saw them was before people started screaming like crazy and started attacking each other <laughs> just dipped on their family like that what if they attacked them i mean Nothing you can do anymore. No, you have to think positively. My family is strong and I know they will be fine wherever, wherever they are. You gotta hope for the best, man. Loud sound. What was that? Damn. How can no one be around here? Shoot, there's a cabin. Hit among the trees. Oh, so that might be the cabin where uh, Apple Blossom is at. I just hope that there's someone who can help me. Or maybe it's a bad idea. Maybe the pony or whatever is in that place is not a good person. I guess you're going to have to find out one way or another. Alright, chapter 10. And I think the, there's 50 chapters to uh, the season 1. It sounded like someone had fallen. A sharp dud. Are there really people nearby? What if they're infected? But it would be a very bad uh, for me not to help them. I don't know what to do. It could infect me. It could be dangerous. Someone desperately knocks on the cabin door. Hey, please. Is there anyone there? I'm hurt. I need help. I don't want to die here. Rainbow, did she say she's hurt? Oh, so she recognized the voice. Nice. Insomnia, dementia, health 40, hunger 67, fatigue 100. <laughs> they, it's funny how they add the stats on there. Uh, what, the hell, what, the hell, what the hell do I do? Do I open the door or not? It's your turn. Oh, so <laughs> it's for us to choose. Uh, I guess we pick yes. I don't know. You can't click, but uh, chapter 11. Okay, Applejack decided to open the door. Okay, so we picked yes and she did open the door. Rainbow, what happened to you? Look at you, my friend. I love you, but there will be conditions here. 
You will be separate in a separate room. I will go and see you from time to time. I will heal your wounds. I will feed you. And I will try to make you better. But do your part too. That is a true friend right there, man. Okay, if you try to attack me, believe me, I will not hesitate to defend myself, Rainbow Dash. Oh, she said in her boundaries. Okay, this will be a room here uh, where you will stay. Hope you get better. Applejack carefully cleaned and bandaged Rainbow Wounds. It fed her and gave her pills so she could fall asleep. Rainbow Dash feels better. Hey, nice. Alright, so hopefully I guess Rainbow Dash recovers from the affection if it's even possible. I don't know. Chapter 12. Con Fluttershy. Now I'm alone. It's up to me to find the cure. If they knew that the virus was being caused by animals, it could, not, it could hurt me a lot. I'm already used to it. I spend my entire life surrounded by animals. I guess that's why I'm not as affected as the others. That doesn't make kind of sense. She's sort of like immune. What if she is a cure? Even Angel, who was also infected, bit me since this happened. And to this day, nothing has happened to me. Oh, that's crazy, bro. If they find out about this, they would use me for who knows what things. I don't want them to have me as a poor little laboratory mouse. Dang, so she is immune to this whole infection going on. Right, uh, Pinkie Pie has already knew about this, that she's not stupid at all. And it's obvious that she wants to remove her suspicions by hurting me more. Seeing no effect. I don't know. Okay, flashback. I remember her look at that moment. Was she really going crazy already? Did she know I was lying? Another flashback. <laughs> if I tricked everyone, would I really be a good pony? If I killed everyone, would I really... <laughs> Damn. All right, some deep thoughts, some dark thoughts going on in there. All right, chapter 13. <clears throat> and those spots on your paws, are they infected? Applejack, that... What stains are you talking about? Oh, it's Applejack. I was saying Apple Blossom. <laughs> My bad. Okay, ah, uh, it's just dirt. It's not infecting stains. Don't worry. I haven't even had, had contact with the birds. I thought you were infected, but apparently I see you better than you were before. Yes, I'm better even though I can even I can't even sleep at night. You don't know how satisfying it is to sleep after so long without doing so. I'm glad to hear you, Dash Dashy. You don't know how worried I was about you. Oh no back at Rarity's house. It didn't take long for Pinkie Pie to start devouring Rarity, desperately tearing pieces off of her body, though most of it was full of the disgusting words. Bro, you can see the body right there and everything, man. Dang. Pinkie Pie is a savage. Oh, look at Pinkie Pie. We got you red-handed right here. Covered in blood. Pinkie Pie just babbled while her friend's blood fell from her hungry snout. No, 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 no. Damn, dude. She, she ate her life. What a savage. All right, chapter 14. Applejack has wiped off the dirt. If this makes you feel safer, I'm clean. I don't have anything apart from, uh, I'm used to the mud. It's not that big of a deal. Rainbow stares at her for a few seconds. Thank you, too. You know, for this, for a moment, I thought you wouldn't let me in. I honestly don't think I'm infected. I was just tired based on what I, uh, started doing, that I, that I started doing things I shouldn't have. But now that I'm calmer, thanks to you. And what do you say about hunger? You were hungry. I hadn't eaten anything since the beginning. I realized that even the food was rotten. It was infected with larvae. That's why I was hungry. I hadn't wanted to eat. But apparently your crops are the only thing that, uh, without that shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, what do you say about the rest and our friends? You have been the only one I have seen in all this time. Honestly, I don't know. I just remember that Fluttershy was with a uh, Discord before that accident, and that Pinkie Pie kept asking about a paw. I don't understand why she kept asking about Rarity's cat before this happened. Anyway, you know, on lift in you, right? She has always been kind of a weirdo. I don't think that's the way to refer to her. She's a friend. She was also your friend. Dang, so there's some little dirt being, you know, thrown on other people and whatnot. Uh, that is the end of chapter 14. Back to Pinkie Pie. 
Okay, Pinkie Pie watched as the blood fell from her snout and her paws were covered in the blood of her dear friend. What happened? Rarity? So she clearly has no clue what is going on, bruh. Rarity's body gave off a disgusting smell of the larvae from uh, her body scattered everywhere. Oh, oh, pal. Flashback. Oh, pal, damn. Did I kill her for the cat? Yes, you did. Don't think you'll be the only one who gets the truth out of Rarity's stomach. Haha. <laughs> that is very gruesome, man. I still have Fluttershy like sewer mouse left. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, dang. She's going to look at her evil laugh right here inserted. She's definitely lost her mind. Oh, okay. A closer look up of, uh, of the dead body. Damn. Yeah, you're, you're the culprit. You're the one that did this. You evil little freak. Alright, uh, day nine. I wonder what's going on here. Will my friends be okay? What will happen to all my dreams? All these goals I wanted to achieve went down the drain thanks to this. What if this keeps getting worse? What if all the ponies die in the end? I hate to say it, but I'm so scared. Now all I have is Applejack. I know you're watching me now. I know you see everything that happens. I'm not crazy, I know you exist, and you're seeing me now. Applejack, Applejack saw the, the light coming from under the door of the room where Rainbow was. She's still awake, so late at night. Yeah, man, she's pondering, bro, those deep those dots, you know, they, they keep her up. All right, uh, oh, dang, what's going on? Chapter 17, day 10, it's a recording. This is Twilight reporting my observations. Bro, look at, look at, what's going on right here, bro? Look crazed. Okay, since uh, Fluttershy left, the worms began to eat me up inside. It's like it was a matter of hours. So if someone infects you, you're totally lost. I suppose it depends on how the other person is infected. The degree of this would also affect the other person. Bro. Okay, but Spike was also infected. So I was living with an infected person. An infected person attacked me, and I was uh, with this especially infected person for a long time. I guess that's why I am the way I am now. Dude, they look insane, man. This is driving me crazy. I started eating myself. <laughs> what? Twilight looks over to you. Spike, shut up! This son of a <laughs> couldn't stand, stand it, and he ripped his eyes out. Oh! That explains it in the background why he looks like that. And I ate them myself. No freaking way, man. Right, they definitely went cuckoo, man. All right, where are the Princess uh, Celestia and Princess Luna? Twilight laughed nervously. <laughs> oh God. Oh, Celestia left us to our own fate. She doesn't give a damn about the situation. To make matters worse, she carries Princess Luna like a dog. Do you want to know what this dumb girl sent me? Dear Twilight, me and Princess Luna have decided not to be part of the situation. We know that you and your friends will be able to do something instead. We will go to a distant place that is not plagued. Instead, Princess Candace stayed to help. Dang, they said, screw this, I'm out. I ain't dealing with none of this crap, man. Okay, old freaking girl. <laughs> Dang. All right, uh, chapter 19. I can't anymore. I will tear off my own skin with my teeth. Ooh, I want to see that. Okay, what is this? Oh, okay. This is the last straw. The princess simply left and Princess Celestia forced Luna to go over her. We have to help the poor people. They are desperate. If we don't do anything, they will all end up killing each other. And how are we supposed to stop a virus that is infested even with food? We would have to destroy everything and start everything again. Even the animals. But I guess that's not the idea. We can't do anything at the moment if we uh, don't know how to start. What worries me the most is my little Fluttershy. I left her alone for this. Don't worry, you just have to look for someone who has been infected and does not suffer symptoms. That will mean that he is immune and can serve as a cure for all this. AKA Pinkie Pie. I already know what's up, man. Okay, but it will be difficult to find someone among so many ponies. 
All right, so it seems like they're on a quest to find this magic pony. Okay, uh, that chapter 20. Dang, bro. It's going on forever. Okay, hello. It's been a few days now. This is what I've collected so far. The hunger at the pony uh the hunger that the pony suffers too much. First they feel a great desire to eat, then they start trying to eat others. And then they start devouring themselves. Dang. Okay, these worms can reach your brain and start eating it. Which would be a more advanced infection. I have seen the first... I have seen that the first thing that they eat around is the face area. That explains why they go for the eyeballs and whatnot. Okay, but if you're the, but if you're the only injured on the face by the la larvae, there's a way to solve it since it's not something to advance. The problem would be when they eat you from the inside. Oh, bro, you got Pinkie Pie creeping up in the bag. And she looks crazy. For example, Spike is already quite advanced. I guess the worms may have already eaten his brain. Ugh, he ain't got no brain. On the other hand, Twilight still has time to solve it. If she lasts longer and doesn't lose her sanity. Oh no, Pinkie Pie. Dude, look behind you. You're about to get an attack. All right, uh... Let's see what's, what's up right here. Fluttershy senses someone else's presence. But what the... Pinkie Pie attacks Fluttershy from behind, leaving a wound on her wings. Fluttershy acts quickly and uh, takes the shotgun she had kept with her. <laughs> what? She had a shotgun this entire time? Fluttershy shoots. Oh! Damn! Did she really shoot her in the face? Fluttershy stuns Pinkie Pie, who has received a big shot in the chest. Oh. <laughs> Hey, that's what you get, man. Trying to sneak attack someone? Fluttershy escapes. Dang, so it doesn't say if Pinkie Pie is dead or not, even though she has a hole in her chest from a shotgun, but I'm pretty sure she's still alive. I, I have a, I have this feeling that she's still ro roaming. Rarity status. Oh, what's going on here? All right, uh, the damn sewing machine had to be, had to be of some use. Oh, did she sew her, her wounds shut? This bee at least has some compassion in, the giving, in giving me the absurd idea of uh, while well, I was dying of pain. Okay, flashback. So sorry, Rarity. I don't know what's wrong with me. Of course, you know perfectly what happens to you, Pinkie Pie. Stay away from me, disgusting. And I didn't, I didn't kill your cat, Rarity. I didn't eat her delicious meat. I don't know about that. I don't. I, I feel like she did. She, I mean, she just doesn't remember, right? Let me, uh, let me show you that it's not like that. Opal can, uh, be inside you. Rarity, uh, writh in pain. Small whimpers coming out of her mouth. Ooh, bro. She's a dead carcass and everything. Okay, uh, just sew up your damn body, Rarity. Oh, what? Oh, she didn't die. <laughs> okay, do you want me to help you? I will sew every damn piece of skin. You're disgusting damn skin. Damn, so she opened it, she cut her open and left her alive. So she could see inside her that she didn't eat the cat. That is insane. That is crazy, bro. Okay, Rainbow Dash the longer suffers from dementia. And insomnia. Okay, hello, it's been a while now. How are you feeling? The Applejack spoke in a um, mocky tone. The truth is I see you better. You're not as emaciated as before, haha. <laughs> well, I feel better. I'm just a little hungry. Do you have something to eat? And by the way, I wanted to thank you again. Without you, I might uh, be eating other ponies by now. <laughs> Regarding that recently here, recently there were infected ponies uh, near the place. It would be better to be equipped and leave before it's too late. With Twilight. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, look at that crazy smile right there. No, oh, she's gone insane. Dear Princess Celestia, I inform you that the freaking Spike is made sh crap. Haha, <laughs> shut the frick up, Spike. Dude, she's lost it. Just look at this. By the way, did you know that the immense hunger and pony suffered due to the worms? The disgusting little bugs begin to eat what you eat, to the point that they begin to completely devour your stomach. That also means that if we eat something infected with these parasites, it will go directly to our stomach and will be easier for them to start devouring us. What if I eat an animal with parasites in it, meaning that it, it is the worst damage for your body? Ha ha ha, what a fool. 
Why are you recording me? <laughs> that is the least question that you should be worried about, man. <laughs> All right, chapter 24. Damn, how it hurts. I have to cut off my wings at this rate. I end up bleeding to death if I don't do anything. It's no use if I'm immune in this case. The blood won't stop coming out. But just because of that. Flesh I hears footsteps nearby. Is there anyone here? Oh, she found a companion. Fluttershy? Are you infected? Duh. Don't you see the blood and I mean and everything? They just broke my wings. Oh yeah, she didn't get infected, I forgot. Uh do you know that if you continue like this you end up dying? Uh if you want I can help you, but there's no solution for your wings. They will end up rotting due to all the infections that exist at the moment. It is dangerous to get hurt now. But place but place it if you want. I will cut your wings off and bandage you. I have a medicine to reduce the pain. Dang. Worst nightmare. Okay, if that's the only thing I can do uh, to not die, I guess I'll give it a go. Good, I will be careful. Starlight takes out a blade that she brought with her, puts some alcohol on it, and goes to Fluttershy. eye. She's about to become a wingless chicken, bruh. Okay, uh, Starlight begins to cut Shutterfly's wings. Flesh eye begins to scream desperately from the pain, from the pain, feeling to uh, feeling the great sharpness of the blade and the burning of the alcohol. Flesh eye writhes in pain, and Starlight begins. Starlight to be quicker when it comes to cutting. Starlight has clipped Flesh eye's wings. Ooh, damn, that sucks, bro. All right, chapter twenty-five. Rarity even. Rarity, even though she uh, was half gone without, without half of her organs, a few broken ribs, even with a few pieces of skin hanging off, she got off uh, determinedly covered her body and her neck with beautiful fur. I still don't understand how I'm alive. Would this be a morbid way of solving this problem? I think so, dude. I just think that I haven't finished bits with that disgusting woman. Wherever you are, I will find you, Pinkie Pie. I will tear your skin again and again. If you run away, I will look for you again. Dang. She has it out for Pinkie Pie. Okay, hello, hello. <laughs> She's insane, man. I have new information. If the parasites are removed from the area, they die instantly, and the area will simply be left with their wound, unless they have laid their eggs. Uh, and there you have not to remove them. But if the wound is exposed to it, they will still be infected. So you have to clean and close the wound to be free. That is just one way to stop the infection, although it may be seriously painful. I mean, if it stops it, why not, right? That was my research for today. <laughs> Dude, she's lost the mind, man. All right, and how do you feel now, Flutter? I understand that it may be painful for you, and uh, more so because they were uh, your wings. You were born with them, and I have to cut them. Dang. I'm sorry. Fluttershy just looked at Starlight, her eyes from crying so much. Don't worry. Meow. What the? F so that wasn't the cat the entire time? Maybe it was just worms that they threw up. Oh man, this entire time I thought they killed the car, man. Okay, chapter 26. Fluttershy is confused. Uh, was it easier to use your horn? Well, Fluttershy, I have bad news. Magic doesn't work. Is it, It's as if something in the air stopped the uh, explosion of our uh, magic. Uh, I'm with Sunset and she can't use her magic either. Okay, so I guess they're magicless, bro. As the days went by, we could perform less and less magic. And now we just can't. I wonder if all of us who perform magic can't right now. Shoot. If this one can no longer perform magic now, how will I know where he is? Will he uh, have the ability to do it? Is something wrong? You're very quiet. Oh, sorry, I was thinking things what if I run away <laughs> oh for Twilight man oh no she's definitely lost this cuckoo okay chapter 27 oh this has like a little intro my uh, my little worms presents number 27 opal opalescence sister do you know uh, I, I love you a lot Okay, this is different. I'm so hungry. Bring me something, okay, please? Okay, but behave I'm, while I'm gone. I hope you shall behave as well. 
Rarity went to order food from Pinkie Pie who was working. She even invited her to eat with them. Wait, what? Dear, I'm home. I invited Pinkie to eat with us. Oh no. What the? Yeah, that was not a good idea. Oh! This is Con Pinkie Pie. Bruh. That was dope. Holy crap, right? Chapter 28. Oh, uh, it's back to it's back to this? Why? <laughs> okay, Rainbow and Applejack had already left the cabin a while ago with the infection with the infect intention of stopping the infected from getting closer to the uh, where they were staying. That's we have to uh, find my family. I know where they must be somewhere. I know they're strong. But do you have a, at least some idea of where they should be? They could be anywhere. At this rate, we will end up finding Princess Celeste before your brothers. Now, Rainbow, be more positive. Along the way, we can find more survivors. People who would be great help. Just try not to hurt yourself, Dashie. The air is heavy. In insects even stick to the skin like honey. Oh, God. I don't understand why some uh, larvae would be infecting the air. I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, not even the cause of those larvae. Few hours before. Follow me, Flutter. The only place I mentioned is only a few steps away. Bro, where the heck is this place? Like abandoned. Oh, until they finally arrive. Fluttershy? Nope. Oh, uh, Sunset Shimmer looks closely at Fluttershy, noticing her severe wings. Uh, are you okay? What happened? I mean, by your wings. I had to cut them off before the infection spread further. I even put stitches. The sewing wound. It, uh, it's the only thing, it's the only way so far that the library didn't get into her. Hurt her body and start eating her alive. Or not necessarily because of the larvae. Thousands of infections would have gotten into an open wound. And it was necessary to do it. But now it's fine, right, Shy? And you, aren't you supposed to live in that uh, other alternate world? What are you doing here? Phew, long story. Alright, chapter 28. Mm-hmm a few days ago a Message from Princess Celestia Dear Sunset Shimmer Sunset Shimmer we need your help here in the pony world this tragedy uh, has happened the virus has affected the ponies We have not noticed that the magic is not working as well It is not it is now or never or most likely the portal to your world were closed completely. I await your response sunset and I Luna fully trust you Will Twilight be okay? I'm in her debt for everything and she's in danger now. I need to help her. Twilight was completely crazy. The library, uh, the library were only eating, uh, eating half her face, leaving her eye, uh, protruding from her face. Apparently she was aware of what she was doing. Having seen Spike die and on top of it, started eating him and experimenting with him, he was driving her crazy. Dang, that was twisted. Okay, the library were inside her brain. The fact that she was still conscious led her to fall into dementia. There are no sensible explanations as to why it had only been affecting her brain and not her entire body. That is true, that's weird. The rest of the infection, infected usually suffered from complete amnesia, but Twilight was another case. Twilight doesn't understand. Alright, this is uh, chapter 30. Cutting her wings? Why? You're smarter than that. I thought uh, I Starlight was, was much smarter. No wonder why Fluttershy is so naive. Why is it going so fast, bro? Okay, F. And you? Are you uh, supposed to live in that other alternate world? What are you doing here? Honey, don't you think the dough looks strange? The smell is something. It's not the first thing I've found the same smell. When did you order this? It must be your imagination. The merchandise was recently released from... Uh, what they told me. Hmm, okay. Wait, so did it start from like the cupcakes or something? Dear, taking advantage of the fact that you are here. I would like to ask if you want to go to lunch with me and Sweetie Belle. Sure, you know, uh, I would love to, Rarity. I'm going out for a while, okay? Be careful. Deuces. Oh, present. What the f Yo, bro, look at that. They go a hole in your chest. Oh, wait, no, that's Fluttershy, right? Pinkie Pie is the one that got shot in the chest with the shotgun earlier. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, what's going on? Be quiet. Dude, okay, I'm kind of lost a little lost here. I don't know what's going on. 
Mm-hmm, Fluttershy. I have to talk something uh, with private. With Starlight in private. Oh, right, Flutter, can you wait here? It doesn't bother you, right? No, not at all. Great, wait here. Starlight and Sunset went to another room, leaving Fluttershy alone in the main room. Did she really believe your wings? What if she had uh, discovered you had other intentions? But she didn't, which is the important thing. And now you're here able to confirm that the girl is really immune? There were larvae on her wings. And they were all dead. Nothing was going to happen to her if I didn't remove her wings. The wound was going to heal on its own and she'll be fine. But apparently she believed everything I told her. Well done, Starlight. Bro, did you bring the wings? Yes, here you go. No way, Starlight shows the wings to saw Sunset Sim Simmer. Perfect, with this we can get it the possible cure. But this girl's wings won't be uh, enough. Okay, you will have to work again, Starlight. Again? Dang. So they think that cutting off the, the wings of, other, of the other ones is a cure to this? Hello. I have been thinking about it seriously, very seriously in the most serious ways that it can exist. I'm going to hell. <laughs> what? I'm hungry, too hungry. And that son of a spike tastes like crap. And I ended up vomiting his remains. That is nasty, dude. And I ate my vomit, even the same shit that comes out of my arse. Well, that is wonderful. It was never a good idea to be here. So I'll be fine. Sorry, Spike. I'll abandon you here for being the son of the greatest crap. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Stop recording me. Twilight hits the camera. Twilight broke the lock on the bedroom door. Twilight escaped. Oh, great. So now there's a wild Twilight on the loose. Haha, <laughs> you're not serious, are you? I'm serious, Starlight. Do as I tell you. I will use her. Bruh. So these two are evil, man. And if it gets so complicated for you, I'll do it myself. Sunset Shimmer has been shot. But what the f Oh. No, Sunset Shimmer notices Fluttershy's presence. B, how dare you? Don't try to escape, Shy. I will break your bone and your legs if necessary. Dang. Sunset... Sunset runs after Fluttershy after being shot and Fluttershy having recently lost both wings. The adrenaline ran through both of their bodies. Fluttershy trips on over furniture. Sunset lunges at her. Fluttershy has been captured. Fluttershy wakes up hours later. She has been, uh, been not conscious. Damn, she got captured. Look at her, bro. That is messed up. Until you finally wake up, Shy Shy. Uh, Sunset Shimmer had a butcher knife on her side. See this? What will I take out every piece of your body? With this, I'll take every piece out of your body. Don't worry, darling. I will be gentle. Fluttershy makes sounds desperately. She can't scream. Her mouth has been covered shut. Uh, don't think I'm doing this because I have something against you. I just want to help a friend. Only you have the possibility to help her. Come on. Don't be selfish, dear. I'm not like... It's not like your life matters much. <laughs> what? Well, enough talk. Let's start with this. Just you and me. Dang, bro. Be your own friends, bro. Okay, sensitive content. Be your own friends, man. Okay, look, Shy. This will be your next new friend. Ha, ha, ha. And she shows you the butcher. Oh, wow. Okay, why you like this? You know how well that, there's this, uh, that this is all your fault. You're completely selfish. Have you seen other ponies, Fluttershy, to your friends? All the people are chaos. Uh, having the cure, you still decide to keep quiet and not say anything. Oh wait, so Fluttershy has a- I thought Pinkie Pie had it all along. I'm confusion, man. Okay, don't think that I'm the only bad guy in the story. You're a disgusting rat that has no compassion for others. It doesn't matter if you die along the way. I'll use your whole body until I find a cure. I just want to help Twilight with you. Huh? Which you couldn't even do. You're so disgusting that yeah, even knowing you're immune, you don't help anyone. That is kind of selfish, bro. Alright, uh, just a little blood wasn't enough, Fluttershy. But you were still afraid, and that's why I still do. And that's why I do it to you what I'm going to do. Dang, alright, so here comes uh, the butchering. Enough, Sunset. You have come too far. Starlight, you son of a beeswax. Alright, uh, chapter 35. An infected pony is nearby. Crap, crap. Oh, dang, who's that? You're speaking in whispers. How will we get to the other side? There's an infected pony there. 
We cannot make it to the slightest sound. Even make the slightest sound or it will attack us. Dang, y'all gotta be quiet. Okay, does this thing have two heads? Can the infected mutate? How disgusting. Oh, it does have two heads. What the heck? Like one sticking out of his chest. And we have not seen the rest of the infected. I want to see more of the infected now. You have discovered a new type of infected. I don't think he's leaving the place. He's been here for a, for a while. Apparently he's eating a dead animal. Or, pass me your knife, Apple. I would try to attack him from behind. Are you sure, Dashy? This will, uh, things will get ugly. Calm down, I'll be fine. Applejack did rainbow uh, her knife to rainbow. Rainbow Dash attacked the infected pony from behind. Dashy? Believe me, it was extremely disgusting. A lot of larvae, worms, parasites came out. Ugh, I don't know. But a lot came out. There was uh, even an uh, excrement behind him and his mouth a disgusting smell. I can imagine how hungry they can feel to even that. Applejack looks closely at Rainbow Dash. Is she cut or something? What happened to your ear? I told you to be careful. I wouldn't take that. I wouldn't take long for that wound to become infected. The guy was already uh, super advanced in his infection. You'll have to cut it. <laughs> Dang. Have to cut off your ear now? Uh, you're crazy. There's nothing else you can do. All right, you don't know how much it will hurt me to do this to you. Dang. All right, this kind of reminds me of like uh, what's that that game that series with the game? It's a popular series. I forgot the name to it, bro. Dang. Um, The Last of Us. There you go. TW sensitive content. Rainbow Dash returns. Apple Jack's knife. Apple Jack approaches. Rainbow with a knife in hand and amputates her ear. Apple Jack disinfects his wound and bandages the area completely. Are you okay? Sorry you had to take a risk for uh, both and uh, you ended up losing an ear. That's tragic. I fi I'm fine if you're fine. If you are. Ha! Huh, you're so brave to have uh, risked yourself like that, Dash. Maybe we'll last mockingly. It caused me to, uh, it caused me to be the only one that lost my ear. <laughs> Jesus. All right, Applejack kisses Rainbow in the gratitude for her bravery. Hey, yo! <laughs> we should go, uh, <laughs> it's getting dark. Both leave the place with the intention of looking for a place to, uh, take refuge at night. Oh, they came across a dead body. Nice. Congrats, Applejack and Rainbow Dash have found a gun along with ammo while walking. Oh, I thought it was a dead body. R, do you have, by any chance, do you know how to use a weapon? Yes, I already have experience with them. God, you impressed me even at the end of the world. You're incredible. Ha, so cute. Okay, Applejack and Rainbow Dash continue moving forward. Unfortunately, it became dark along the way and they couldn't find shelter. Oh, what the heck? Apple Bloom design made by... Oh, look at it. There's the other infected ponies. Brother, where are you? Apple Bloom, you're here? Sister? Sister, sister. Okay, uh, calm down, darling. Your sister's already here. I thought I would never see you again. Apple Bloom runs off to where Applejack is. Here I am, little... Uh, everything will be fine. We found you. Calm down. Oh my god, what's going on with that? What the? Okay, shit. There are more and more infected, right? Now the two of you will leave. I don't want you to be here. I'll use a weapon. Bro, that one looks insane. Like, split head or something. Okay, I'll buy you time so you can run as far and as fast as you can, understand? I don't want. I don't want to, but... Apple? I'll be fine. Take care of my sister, okay? <laughs> Rainbow Dash grabbed Apple Bloom, and with tears in her eyes, they both ran as fast as they could. Applejack had no mercy when attacking. Even when she was nervous, with her eyes full of tears, she defended her beloved and her dear sister. B -b -b dear Dasha, you will be my last sight and my last breath. And without a doubt, the last beats of my heart are all yours. They were Applejack's last words, since unfortunately for her, the infected were already very close. Dang, she got surrounded. <laughs> that one looks creepy, bruh. <laughs> what the frig, yo? Okay, too close. And Applejack died at their hands. Oh, that is... You will be remembered, Applejack. Okay, sensitive content. Oh, man. Get away. Damn, how annoying. Oh, is that pink? No. Apple... Applejack, you're all shoot. Is this you, Apple? 
Yes, it's definitely you. What the frick happened to you? Twilight had a few moments to regain for her sanity. Applejack. Twilight. Applejack responded with her last train. T Twilight, help me. And who the hell are you? Apparently, Twilight was in here very sane and left her there lying alone. Completely alone, dying in that place with most of her organs outside her body. Damn. I mean, what can you do at that point, right? Like, you don't know what to trust, what to do. Like, you don't know what's right from wrong anymore. Are you going to stop this sunset? I don't like you. I don't like you, man. Okay, are you on her side now? What a hypocrite. You are, Starlight. I remind you that it was you who cut off her wings. It was you who deceived her. If uh, you had not wanted to do this from the beginning, you would have told her other w the other ways to do things. Starlight brings the knife closer to Sunset's throat. Because I didn't think you'd get this far, Sunset. That's the problem. I thought it was the things. I thought the wings would be more than enough. But you are being very extreme. What is the need to want not want to cut off her entire body? You said it yourself. Only blood samples were enough. Nothing more than that. Do you really think she would give, her, give you her blood? She's selfish. She wouldn't even give that. Yes, if it wasn't the good way, it would have to be the bad way. And that's how things are in this shitty world. It shouldn't even be here because of a damn princess Celestia who doesn't want to take care of her own problems. Even so, I came to help Twilight. That's the only thing that matters to me. That was my reason for coming here. If I hadn't been here, I would. if it weren't for her, I wouldn't be here. So stop getting involved in my plan, Starlight. You're ruining everything. I came to this world for one reason, and I will fulfill it no matter what. Do you understand me? Please, Sunset. Don't make me do this. Stop being such a coward for once. If you want to kill me, do it. Now I understand that you never gave a shit. Well. Wow. Okay, chapter 37. Please, Celestia, let me help you, uh... Bring me here only for your please Celeste, let me help you you brought me here only for your convenience I didn't mind risking it for my people Everyone must be very scared even when the they need most in these times Someone who can help them. We must be that someone for them for them once in our lives Enough Luna. Don't you understand everyone would attack you they would demand things from you Even if people who are not infected would become aggressive because they did not see what they asked for Alright, what do you plan to do everything you want? Do you really think that you're capable? No, you are not at all. We don't even have magic to do anything. The best thing we can do is run away before they attack us. Okay, I brought you here with me because I didn't want anything bad to happen to you, Luna. But Candace is more stubborn than you. Have you ever wondered what her husband and daughter are? Uh, of course you don't know because you live in a bubble. They're both dead. What? Kind of stayed there because she doesn't want to let go of the corpse of her family. She is a mother who lost her daughter and husband at the same time. The way That's why she is there. I saw her hiding her bodies in another room. Nobody is a saint in this shitty world, Luna. But this didn't have to be like this. If only we had done something in time. But we didn't, and that's the harsh reality. So that's uh, enough, Luna. Sheesh. Alright, uh, chapter 39. Where the heck am I? It's not like death in here. <laughs> what is Twilight up to now? Okay, Spike, I know you're here. I know you're hiding. Don't be afraid, Spike. Uh, I know you're out there recording me. Frick, Spike. Spike? Where am I? Okay, you are around here. Spike, I don't understand. Where'd you go? Weren't we supposed to stay together? Spike? Flashback. <laughs> Did she not remember? What the? Finally vomited on herself because of the disgusting she felt when she remembering uh, what she had done to herself. What have I become? Damn. Oh, what's that? What have you become? <laughs> As to what in reality is, you and me, we are completely disgusting and you know who the frick killed Spike. Admit it, Twilight. We're not normal. You're not really a normal sane pony anymore. But things 
do not have to be this way. Please, enough. Get out of my head. Leave me alone. I will never leave you alone. We are now two and one. Accept it. Damn, alright, so it seems like once that thing's in your head, you're gone. Okay, chapter 40, sensitive content. Love, I'm here. Hello, love. You look tired. Is something wrong? You don't know how complex all this is. A pain in the arse. It must be very difficult. They both give each other a sweet kiss. A sweet and warm kiss. Okay, do you know where our daughter is? He's playing in the, she's playing in the room. I'll go look for her. Dear, where are you? Ah, uh, here you are, treasure. You found her. You saw where she was here. You saw she was here. Yes, I found her, love. And how did you resolve the virus? It's not easy at all, love. Oh my god, what's going on? Candace still couldn't get her over the fact that her family was dead. That it even altered her reality so that her poor heart would stop suffering from all this. Candace was performing necrophilia on her husband's corpse. Bro, what? Excuse me? <laughs> Alright, uh, what the F is wrong with you, pony? Um, <clears throat> Pinky? Why did you do all this? Is there something wrong with me? Did I do something wrong? Answer me, damn it! Don't you understand it? You were everything to me, Rarity. And even yet, you decided to do that. It's all your fault that I'm like this. I barely recognize you. I can barely talk to you like someone conscious. I don't remember a single other thing other than that, that damn day. Do you think it was all my fault? How would I think that she was sick? We're all sick here. Your own sister was eating your cat, and your cat was eating her entire mouth to defend herself. Did you not see how shitty that area was? And on top of all of that, you and, you and I killed your sister, Rarity. We devoured every part of her body. It's the only thing I can remember to this day. I don't even know who you were before all this. I don't remember it at all. I can't remember. Dang, bro, that's tough. All right, it's a shame uh, having to remember everything that we went through together. Why did you have mercy on me when you sold my whole body? Did you do you regret it? Why did you have mercy? I don't understand. Why the frick did you help me if you didn't want to remember any at all? Don't ask me those questions. I can't even answer myself. Neither of them could remember the events exactly. Both had fallen into madness. After witnessing such a scene that came that became traumatic for them. Damn, bro. Alright, here are the great and powerful Trixie. Day 24. It's been about 20 days perhaps since the first infection of the virus. But I have collected the following information in all these days. The virus is an infectious disease that affects ponies and turns them into aggressive and cannibalistic creatures. The virus causes those infected to carry larvae, worms and parasites that lodge in the brain and the body of those infected. Symptoms, high fever and chills, loss of appetite and weight, um, change in color and texture of the fur, bleeding from the eyes and nose, mouth, loss of consciousness and speech, aggression and violence towards other ponies, animals, cannibalism, uh, necrophagy, um, Resistance to pain and wounds, decomp decomposition of a pure, what putrefaction of fabrics. Okay, symptoms, higher fever and chills, last, okay, we read that, yada, yada, mutation. Dang, that mutation is wild. There's like two faces in one body. It's crazy. I have seen a few mutated ponies. It's really scary. The virus has the ability to mutate and adapt in different environmental conditions and hosts. Some of the mutations observe the following. Symptoms and mutation. Okay, we're already seeing this. Okay, so uh, formation of hives and zombie swarms, generation of spores and toxins that affect the air and water, resistance to antibiotics and antivirals. Symptoms mutation increase size and strength of infected ponies, development of claws, fangs, and horns, emissions of a uh, guttural and terrifying sounds, formation of hives and zombie swarms, generation of spores and toxins and that infect the air and water, resistance to antibiotics and antivirals. Important note, the virus was being able to mutate ponies can also combine two or more ponies to create a single body, which increases its strength and resistance. So it could create like one giant mutated pony. That is sick. I, I want to see that. Okay, I still don't know what very well exactly about these mutations. I need more time. I wonder if there are any worse things than mutation. 
Oh, that's a good question. Well, that's it for all for today's information. That's great and powerful. The great and powerful Trixie says goodbye. Chapter 43. Okay, sensitive content. Let me go, damn it. I'll stop this, I promise. Start to lower the knife and uh, release sunset shimmer. Why don't you understand that I do this for the good of everyone? Sunset, you wanted to sacrifice someone innocent. Have you ever heard the dilemma that says, Would you sacrifice your own life to save five? Oh, that is a good one. What would you say? But this is different. It is not different at all, Starlight. The only difference is that we will not only be saving five lives, but the whole world. Be rational for once. I'm, I'm being it, Sunset. We both have our points of view. Neither of them was right and now. If only Trixie hadn't gotten lost. Do you think that if she were here, she would think the same as us? It is more than obvious that she was looking for other solutions. If she's still alive. I know she's still alive. Yes, Sunset, I know. She's strong and probably still alive. But look how things are. There are too many possibilities. Sunset looks at Starlight, Fluttershy, and Fluttershy carefully. Fluttershy is very scared. <laughs> She's still trapped there. That's messed up, man. Still being held captive. Sorry, Starlight. Sunset threw the knife at Starlight. Bro. What the fuck? Damn. She, she hit a uh, kill cam throwing knife on her, dude. All right. Uh, chapter 44. I had forgotten to show you. Other symptoms. Acceleration and alteration of heart and respiratory rhythm. Dilation of redness in the pupils. Increased body temperature and sweat. Decreased sensitivity to pain and fear. Constant or compulsive hunger. Aggression and territori territoriality towards other ponies and animals. Loss of memory and identity. I also discovered that ponies are attracted to the smell of flesh and blood. Light attracts them as loud sounds. By the way, I have a few things in my bag that might... Uh, of help hey she got a survival starter kit right there bro okay i know all i know that with this i will still be able to find starlight and sunset oh no toilet's behind her okay tricks look closer at the camera scene screen what is that behind me twilight bro she's dead she is done though damn twilight you scared me sorry are you infected how long have you been like this i lost track tracks of the days but apparently you're still conscious i guess if you can still save yourself. Huh. Oh god. Shouldn't have said that. Twilight, you're scaring me. I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like only part of me is aware of what it does. And the other half is totally controlled by the parasite. Your case is too strange. I've never seen a pony like that before. Please help me. I can't take this anymore. Twilight repeating a few times shouting. I can't hold on. I can't hold on. Bro, just kill yourself, bro. <laughs> just messing around. I want to tear off my skin. Please calm down. Do you know how I can help you? I... If the parasites are removed from the area, they die instantly. And the area will simply be left with the wound. Unless they uh, have laid their legs there and you have not removed them. There is... There's the way? What the f happened to your hair? It burned. <laughs> What an ass. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, dude, chapter 45. Oh, man. Okay, uh. Alright, let me do this. Are you okay? Sorry if it worries you. When, uh, when, it, when it comes to running away like that. Ha, huh, I'm fine, sir. Don't worry. I just sprained my back leg a little. Other than that, I'm fine, and you are too. If you are too. Changing the subject. Did you see how aggressive that deer was? Apparently, the animals are becoming more aggressive. Even if you don't attack them, they still attack. Uh, I still think that they can be, uh, that the cure may be in them, sir. But it will not be difficult if we do not have test objects. Even taking samples from animals will be difficult. It's a very risky. Uh, they can attack us and infect us. But don't worry about that. I'm willing to take the risk for you. Hey. In these circumstances, I want us both to protect each other, not just you, to me. But, but nothing. Could you show me the information we already have? Sure, here you go. Okay, vaccine against rabies, remove parasites, worms, uh, and tarvae from the area infected. 
It is transmitted through direct contact or indirect contact in the body fluids of infected animals, such as blood, saliva, urine, or feces. It can also remain in contaminated soil, water, or food for a long time. There is no treatment or vaccine. It is transmitted through direct contact. Okay, uh, it is a shame that even the domestic animals are like this. Dogs and cats, they are carnivorous mammals that, can, that belong to the candid and uh, felid families. Respectively, they have a highly developed sense of smell and are social domestic animals. They can become infected by worms and parasites such as hookworms, tapeworms, or toxicaris, which lodge in their intestines or other organs. These parasites can pass off to fly larvae that feed them their ex excrement or open wounds. Rodents, they are rodent mammals that are characterized by having incisors and scissors that grow continuously and that they use for gnawing. There are many species of rodents that, such as mice, rats, squirrels, beavers, or rabbits. They are omnivorous animals and adapted to various habitats. They can be infected by worms and parasites such as nematodes, cestotodes, or trematodes which are transmitted by consumption of contaminated food or water or contact by which other infected animals. These parasites can pass to fly the larvae that are feeding animals feeding on their ex excrement of their open wounds. All right, wild boars, there are a tridactyl mammals that belong to the suet family along with pigs. They have a robust body, an elongated head, sharp fangs, and rough dark fur. They are omnivorous animals that nocturnal ha with nocturnal habits. They live in forests, meadows, and mountainous areas. They can become infected by worms and parasites such as a trichinellia, ascaris, or fasciole. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm assuming. <laughs> which lodges in their muscles, the liver, or lung. The parasites can pass to fly larvae that feed on their excrement, excrement or to open wounds. We have collected this so far, sir. Let's keep walking. Maybe we'll find something ahead. As you say. With tricks in twilight. Do you want me to get all that out of your face? You're undoubtedly crazy. It's the only way I know. The bugs that have even gotten into my brain. Do you think you can help me? I... I'm the great and powerful Trixie. Of course I'm capable. But you have to look... But you have to look for a cleaner place. There would be no point if I took them out and they reinfested it uh, in an instant. You're right. But keep your distance away from me, Twilight. Believe me, I don't want to hurt you, but if you decide to attack me, I will have no mercy. What a bad vibe. I know. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to stay, to not be infected, you know? Alright, uh, let's see, chapter 46. The great and powerful tricks you along with Twilight. Look for a safer and clearer place to do worm Twilight. You know when I saw you, I thought you would hurt me or eat me. I would never do that. Asshole. Of course I would have done it. <laughs> but you're very helpful, so I wouldn't do it. Twilight was getting very close to Tix. Oh, well, no, why is she getting close, man? Oh, we agreed that you would keep some distance. Trixie takes a few steps back and someone's scared. What a bad vibe. Twilight stands back. Sorry. Trixie kept walking. I mean, they did have an agreement. Like, come on, bro. I know you're watching me. Trixie and Twilight, after a long walk and some problems with Twilight's changes, arrive at uh, a cleaner terrain. Well, Twilight, I hope you can control yourself while I deworm you. I beg you. Twilight, don't worry, Trixie. I'll control myself. All right. Trixie takes out the knife and sterilizes it with a little alcohol. Here I go. Trixie cuts some off of Twilight's skin to remove the parasite with tweezers. Twilight, this hurts. Be more careful. Oh, you can see the parasites and everything. Cool. Okay, it would hurt less if you stayed still, Twilight. I have to take a look at a piece of your skin from other places so I can reshape your face. Are you sure? Oh, what? She, she took, she, uh, took uh, flesh from her skin? Or from her face, I mean? Twilight, just do it. Trixie uh, took a piece of Twilight's skin to soothe them to her face and close the wound. Oh, okay. And that's it. Sorry for it was painful, frog face. Shut up, burn hair. I feel lighter. It was painful, but it feels good. Thank you very much, Trixie. Without you, I couldn't have done this. Oh, man. 
Although my blindness in my left eye would not go away. At least it was just that. So I guess she doesn't have like the infected larvae or worms in her brain as they typically would. As her case didn't get too far. Okay, yes, of course. It's just that. At least. Okay, chapter 46. Sensitive content. Pinkie Pie had been silent for a few minutes. Her body soon had to take reactions. Bro, they added the, the, the freaking, what's the, Tinky Winky scream? Pinky? Her eyes were bulging out of place, gagging as she wanted to vomit something from inside of her. It showed a certain green spot on his body and a strange liquid that fell from his snout that it had a dark tone. Oh, what's going on with her, bro? What the? She made a heartbreaking and strange sound inside her snout came a smell of pure putrefaction. It was full of larvae that were eating the walls of her cheeks. That was disgusting, man. Rarity had soon the same strange reactions as Pinky. Her face melted as the liquid fell all over her face. Okay, Rarity had her tonsils full of pus and some larvae laying their eggs. It was really disgusting to see how they were rotting from the inside. Dude, that is very disgusting to know, but very cool at the same time. Okay, could we rest? We have walked a lot, chapter 48. Not yet. Apple Bloom sensing Rainbow Dash seriousness remains silently for a large part of the way. Rainbow Dash, my legs can't handle it anymore. Please, let's rest. I'm begging you. God, you're annoying. It's okay, we'll rest for a while. Both when you stayed in their abandoned house to rest. I'll go explore the house. Try not to die, little girl. Haha. <laughs> Right, Apple Boom explodes the house while Rainbow Dash regrets leaving Applejack behind. Why did you do it, Applejack? Why did you have to be the heroine of the situation? Apple Boom appeared out of nowhere, running and screaming desperately. Run! It's chasing me! Oh. Right, what did it mean by it's chasing me? We're about to find out. Shit! Hide! Apple Bloom and Rainbow Dash had uh, hidden somewhere further down. What has, where was that supposed to be? Rainbow Dash signaled for her for her to be quiet. Shh. Oh, as you can see, there's like some sort of mutated creature right there in the background. It's already gone. Are you sure about that? What was that thing? It seems they were. Forget it, girl. Are you okay? Are you tired? I'm very tired, Rainbow Dash. I fell down the stairs when I came running to tell you. It hurts me a lot. I'll go see if that thing is still here. Wait for me here. Shh. Shit, it's still here. Oh, it's like two mutated ponies. Sick. That's what I wanted to see this entire time. What the fuck happened to Pinky and Rarity? It's disgusting. I don't know how I'll get out of this place. The girl's a nuisance. Applejack won't be back. Sorry, Apple Bloom. Rainbow Dash, Rainbow Dash left the place, leaving the girl behind. She had abandoned her so as not to waste time. Damn, she left her behind. <laughs> hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive, man. Even though it might hurt, but uh, there's no one to hinder us anymore, dear Shy. I'm sorry for being so abrupt and cruel to you. Don't get me wrong. I'm doing it for the greater good. Damn. Okay, chapter 50. Idiot, you're okay. I stopped the bleeding as soon as I uh, took the knife out of you. Sun said it hurts too much. What the fuck did you do to Fluttershy? She's fine. Her heart is uh, still, still beating. I only gave her a few medications. And I saw what she had a uh, parasite in her stomach. That's why she has a gash in her stomach. Although I had the intention of making a cure because I realized that the girl is not even immune. It was the parasite that was killing the, the larvae and worms. What? With, uh, with Trixie and Twilight. I guess you're okay now? I'm fine Trixie. Shall we stay here? Maybe you will stay. Maybe you'll stay here but I'm leaving. I have things to do. 
I need to find Sunset and Starlight. The last time I, I was with the place with them, they mentioned the place. They must be there. Can I accompany you? I promise I can be of help. Good. But don't get in the way. With Sunset and Starlight. Sorry, Starlight. This shouldn't be have been like that. After all that, I still love you, Sunset. Starlight and Sunset, here's the door. With the place open. Who the f... Sunset? Starlight? Trixie? Trixie sees Fluttershy hanging. But what the... It's Sunset. What did you do? Trixie, please. Twilight. What are you doing here? What the F did you do to Fluttershy? It's not what you think, Twilight. Please. I've done all this just for you. For me? <laughs> for me? <laughs> Bro, she is crazy. My Little Worms. End of Season 1. Finally, dude, I would have never thought this it was gonna come to an end like it was just endless and endless and endless slides and screens and Whatnot, but we've made it to the end of season one. Well with that being said um, That was a lot of take in this, this infection how it spreads how it mutates the rest of the characters and all that pretty sick cool adaption to this whole MLP World or whatever. It's a pretty cool uh, AU that they uh, invented and uh, like I said, it reminds you a lot of The Last of Us, which is also pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, if you guys want me to uh, do season two, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I need to go drink a lot of water because I'm about to lose my voice.